Hi guys, Lego Harry Potter 12 here and today I've got a new Hogwarts update. So this building here is called the Viaduct Entrance and I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the interior. So, I've already shown you guys this in my main Hogwarts update video. Uh, but spinning it around you can see that the interior is very full. Now you will notice that there's no second floor and that is because there's going to be a separate video. Oh, so I've got this one. Anyway, so. Uh, this is the interior, I'm going to have to get a little bit closer so I can get some better camera angles. Uh, but I've actually filled it with figures, um, inside. So this is the Viaduct entrance and I think the library is supposed to be in here. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the location of things in the Viaduct entrance. Uh, but either way, I wanted to make it my own creation so I, uh, did custom interiors, um, anyway. So you will see there's no, there are some runners here at the top and people on my Instagram will know that there's separate rooms that slide on top of here and that is Divination and the Gryffindor Common Room. The reason why I did this is because I could then add some dark red curtains at the top uh, and they could fit both rooms that slide in. Uh, this will be in my next video. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be taking a look through all these rooms, all the details and things inside them. Uh, and tell you guys more about the smog. So first of all, we're going to take a closer look at the library and you'll, and you'll see there's actually been a location change and that's just so I can get with the lighting. So I know the lighting is not bouncing off the Luna's hairpiece very well, but we're going to be having a look inside the bookshelves and things. So this is the Hogwarts library and there's three bookshelves and then a main table for studying. And you'll also see here there's this big pad. Uh, now this is supposed to be for the astronomy tower to sit on. Uh, so it's the same size as that base. Uh, and there's a couple studs that can stick it down, but primarily it's just so that the astronomy tower can sit there. Uh, so when that's stuck in, it has a couple of torches in and stuff, so it looks a bit more complete when there's not a massive space there. Uh, but that'll be in another video when I show you guys the interior combined. So, taking a look, I will actually just pull out one of these bookshelves. So... In the bookshelf, you can see on one side, there's two candles, uh, and on the other side, there's a lantern. Uh, I think that it probably fits better. Hold on a second, I've just seen that it's fallen off there. These bookshelves are always a pain, because they're always breaking. But apart from that, I think they're designed really well. So they're designed that these books that are on a, they're used by a snot technique, and they also have these things pointing out. Uh, they're supposed to be the books coming out, like you see in the movies when Hermione's putting her books back from the library. Um, there is also a small table on both sides, uh, if you want to grab some books and quickly write at them or look at them. And then there's also a base. Uh, I will probably try and do a tutorial for this bookshelf build, even, even though it's quite simple. Uh, I do want to do a tutorial for it. And there's also a nice candle and lantern design on both sides, which I spent quite a while to make. But I think that looks really effective. So there's three bookshelves there, and in between each bookshelf there's a, there's a small amount of space for chairs to fit in. Um, so here you can see Luna's Tips for Studying. There's a letter and a quill there with an empty chair. There's no, there's nothing on that side. Um, and on here is actually quite a nice scene that I tried to recreate. I haven't got Moody here at the moment because I didn't want to add too many figures. Uh, but you can see that... Harry is almost falling asleep with the golden egg, and then oh, I've actually made some customs of all three of these people actually in the fourth year. I know they're quite obvious customs because they combine pieces that Lego have used for the fourth year retires. I don't think they've actually made a fourth year one. They have the Yule Ball, but that's when they had their hair different. So I decided to make a Hermione, and that's using a Ginny torso. And then you can also see that one's got his CMF torso. And then Harry has a standard Prison of Azkaban torso. So you can see that they are in front of a bookshelf looking for books on how to breed on the water for a full hour. So moving to this table here, you can see it's a long table design. And it's using lots of the 2x6 uh, dark reddish brown pieces, or just dark brown. Uh, and there's also some lamps on top. Now this is a lamp design that came in the Wanting Willow, if it would focus in. Um, but I decided to put it here. I didn't have enough pieces to make a third one to go in the middle of there, so I just put a small lantern. Uh, but in the future, I'll probably end up putting benches around the table. So in the future, 
uh, it's a lot easier to just plot figures on them. Uh, there's also a book in the middle there, a quill, uh, a quill and a letter here again. They show up quite a lot and then at the end here you've got Neville and another custom figure. This is Blazer Beanie and you see him in the seventh movie. Uh, I think he actually came in as a character replacement for Crab. Um, but you see him in the room requirement in the Deathly Hallows uh, and he is one of Malfoy's friends. And that is just a custom so I decided to put him here. And then there, there is also a custom Neville in there but he's not too interesting. Uh, but anyway, placing him back in. So that's the complete set. I know, sorry, the lighting keeps on glitching out. So that's basically the majority of the library, and now we're going to talk about the Slughorn's party in a minute. However, the back here you can see, around the archway, there's a couple Umbridge proclamations. And I know they're not stuck on the best, because I bought them online. No, I, they came from the set, but however, because I'd already applied them, they hadn't got much stickiness left, so I had to use blue tack. Uh, but apart from that, I think they, they look quite nice on the, on the, um, Nexo Knight Shield piece. I think that looks really nice. Uh, that was my idea, I think. I don't think I got that from anywhere else. I'm just trying to stand up Ginny. And once again, this is a custom figure. You can kind of see how it's made. However, I did use this, to, uh, I used the Lily face from CMF. I think it fits her so much better. I've actually used her since last summer when I got Lily. Uh, so that is my once again my own design and I've also just got one of these skirt pieces. So that's the whole start of this floor, uh, well apart from Sutherland's party, but now we're going to move on here. So, so moving on to Sutherland's party, we're going to zoom in on the different scenes that I've tried to replicate. So basically I tried to um, use lots of dark reds and tan to create the whole, um, uh, to create the whole Slughorn's of his vibe, and you can see that I've actually got three rooms basically on top of each other that all use the kind of dark red colour scheme, and this was done deliberately, so I didn't have to keep reusing certain parts. Now I will talk about this armchair here and that table at the back in a minute, but basically uh, I really like the Slughorn of his vibe, and I probably sound a little bit crazy, uh, but I really wanted to recreate that. So in the background, I've got these windows and a curtain and some dark red curtains. And if I was to think of Slughorn's office, I'd immediately think of the curtains and the fireplace. And it's probably because of the Lego Harry Potter game, but I'm not really sure. Uh, so here you've got Hermione and Harry, and she's talking to him about Cormac uh, just before she goes behind the curtains. I do actually need to make a Cormac and Lavin in the future, but for now I don't have him. Uh, there's also a chocolate fountain in the back. Moving up a little bit, there's a fireplace with some fire, obviously. Uh, there's a small rug with a with a stud in the middle that you can stand someone on. And then pull Slughorn. Um, and then there's also a small armchair in tan. Then here we have Ginny walking in late to the party, as usual. Next to her, we have a lantern, uh, a red lan lots of red lanterns on a big pole. That was one of the decorations that came in the astronomy tower. I tweaked it and made it a little bit taller, um, and I also I think yeah I added I also added a extra red mini figure head at the bottom to add like another pumpkin. Uh, this table here is supposed to be the ice cream pudding table, so the table that Harry stands up at when Ginny comes in the room. Uh, there's four black chairs around the outside, and there's a couple of bits of ice cream on the table. In the future, I'd like to get bowls and spoons and place them around the edge and maybe even get a bigger table, but I think the size fits well, and I used this piece from the Astronomy Tower, which was actually supposed to be the the uh, refreshments uh, table, but I actually just changed it to fit the purpose of the pudding table, and once again in the middle you can see another one of my chocolate fountains. Uh, moving underneath here, so underneath the beam, uh, you can see that there is Luna and Neville, and they are having a drink. I was going to give Neville his waiter uh, board to carry grand glasses, but it only held one, so uh, I just decided not to. In the back here, you can also see an armchair, which I resurfaced from the potions classroom uh, moment. And there's also a table in front with a couple of little items on them. Um, in front of that, well, actually next to it, there is a long table of refreshments. This is nothing special. In the future, if I have some more dark red bricks and I'll try and make a nicer table, 
with some more decorations around the edges. But there's some different chocolate desserts and some jam, not jam tarts, some small jammy heart kind of things. I'm not sure what they're called in your country, but they're nice. And there's also a couple of extra glasses. So moving on up from Solomon's party, uh, on here on this little table here, you can actually see uh, that there is a small table for the divination cups. And this is because divination is one of the rooms that slides in uh, above this room. Uh, there's these runners that have flat pieces on that you actually slide the room in. Uh, all will become clear in the next video because that's what I'll be talking about then. Uh, but in the back there, I've decided to add those tables, which end up getting covered by the Christmas tree in the Gryffindor common room. So I basically resurfaced that to uh, create some extra space in the divination classroom. I've already talked about these red curtains, and it's great because it means I don't have to have two different red curtains, um, but I can just keep them in the same room, just so you can switch out different rooms. Uh, same thing goes here for the armchair. So whichever, whichever room that you have slid in, uh, it'll work with both of them. There's also some small candles either side. Now, uh, I did want to add the Gryffindor common room, the uh, Gryffindor dormitory, uh, but of course, as soon as I had this new room sliding out and in, I didn't want to uh, put it somewhere far away, so I decided to put it in a small little room here. So you can see that there's a Gryffindor bed there with a couple, I believe I have done a tutorial for this on my Instagram, so I think I did it about July or September last year, so check around that time. But I've had that book for a long time. If I move one out of the way, who's hating his growth of your ball uh, you can see there's a chest of drawers there and there's this really nice heater slash radiator design that I think was quite iconic that you see in the films and the Harry Potter world so I really wanted to add that in you can also see that there's a jumper plate in the back there and that's to once you've slid the room in then you can put the door in but how because of course the runners are behind this room you have to kind of like slant it over that and then go in uh, but you put the door on there afterwards to lead to this room so, that is it for the interior. So that is the end of the video. Next week I'll be showing you guys my Gryffindor common room and the divination classroom. I've already shown you guys on my Instagram who have seen that, but I'll show it in more depth and talk more about it. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe. Uh, please like and subscribe um, if you like my content. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.